Blessed be the name of our Adonai Yeshua, Jesus. And now here is the explanation. I will take a short explanation of this. I will give you a short explanation on this. And uh, as you can see, the date has a significant value in this. The Tonga eruption, the Tonga volcanic eruption has a has a very important date. The date is 14 Jan. 14 Jan. It what what is the 14 Jan has a significant value in the Bible. As you can see that the, the Yeshua died or Jesus died on the 14th uh, on the 14 14 Nisan and it's the Passover is the Passover and it represents that the Yeshua or the Jesus got victory over the Satan uh, over the death over the death so, so I believe uh, that 14 has a significant value in this and this thing the and this sign also occur on the 14 Jan 2020 so i think that 14 has a great value from the spiritual point of view and this uh, date has a very uh, spiritual uh, value in the bible so it represents the victory or the god works uh, on this date so there are many uh, in there are many different ways you can put this 14 date in a many different contexts you can take the 14 in in a such in a such sense also that this it's a double power you can say like that seven uh, seven seven like seven into two you can say like that and you can see the cnn has reported this uh, tsunami uh, the word the word has a very significant value in this it says the jaw dropping eruption trigger tsunami waves in south pacific the word i don't know why they you are using the word jaw dropping and you can see in the below the tonga damage reveal it's like a revelation so as you can see like a lightning flashes just like the lightning flashes from the east to the west is like the coming of the son of man be and you can see the white smoke from the volcanic eruption and the sonic boom is so much uh, just like you you can see in this and now it says that the white water that it says water vapor it's showing uh, actually it's showing out that how the vapor has been carrying out and now you can see the sulfur sulfur flare falling ashes sulfur dioxide the brimstones of the sodom and gomorrah and now comes the true part i don't you i i don't think that it's a coincidence that they put this name of jaw dropping I believe that this thing comes from the Bible because it has been mentioned in the Bible that that uh, the same specific word is mentioned and they have used the the God has put that word over there so that the people uh, maybe it's maybe easy for them to understand jaw dropping and if they if if they if their jaw drop down and so what God is going to do God is going to put the bridle in their mouth and all those people who don't believe in the word of the god god gonna turn their mouth and just and then move them like the animals and just exactly it's written in the book of isaiah i'll i'll give you the explanation i give you the bible verse that how why am why i am uh, emphasizing on this that the word jaw dropping has a significance value to understand this tsunami or uh, this this waves because if you understand the, that exactly word you you will got try you will try to understand you will understand that what god is just doing in this thing and it's it's really a very significant role for the us it has a very importance so I'll, I'll 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 explain it to you uh, in a in a moment and as you can see it's especially for the us you can see that thing and you know here is the you know here is the verse it says in isaiah 30 verse number 27 uh, and, I'm, and i have highlighted that verse it says the 28 verse and there shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people why why there is a bridle because they don't believe in the they don't believe those who don't believe in the word of the god don't obey the word of the god god is going to put the bridle in their jaws of the people causing them to err so what god is going to do that if they don't gonna believe them god is going to make them go here and there and as you can read the whole passage it says behold the name of the lord comes from afar burning with his anger and his burden is heavy his lips his lies full of are full of indignation and his tongue like devouring fire as you can see very well 
that these signs correlate with the words the fire and the heavy the anger the fire the breath of his overwhelming stream which reaches up to the neck to sift the nations with the sieve of fertility fertility as you can see these these uh, these these words i think so that correlate exactly what's happening and and it's so easy for you to understand and now again i i i can't believe that again the 14 million people been affected by the the waves which are coming from the tonga island it's so much far and i don't i can't believe that how could the waves could come over there with such a long distance of more than 8000 km and exactly now again the 14 the the number 14 is there 14 million people been affected and you will see that i believe that 14 has a very significant uh, value and we should study this god god help us to study this uh, so this is the exactly the distance from the tonga to the north island as you can see the 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 i don't i i can't believe that why it's not coming to all the, all the all the ways that how could the waves could go to such a long distance even reported to alaska also and again it's a specific word for ephraim it is like says like a behold in the in, in the verse to say behold the lord has a mighty and a strong one like a tempest of the hail and a destroying storm like a flood what it says like a flood of a mighty waters overflow overflowing please please try to understand this thing it has a special message for the ephraim now god is going to do the thing it, it, god is going to do things and mighty things in this last days with the ephraim and uh, and i hope you will understand and god will help you to understand this thing especially i have i have put three marks on this that which will help you to understand the mighty one and the strong one is the son of man who is coming the flood of the son of man which i have been speaking to you from the very uh, from from the past that the flood of the son of man will take them away will blow them away if they don't repent if they don't just Uh, prepare themselves if the if if the world don't prepare themselves for the son of man it gonna blow them away the flood gonna blow them away please pray yourself pray pray that this time will help you to understand this thing because you you wouldn't be able to understand the thing so take uh, me also in your prayer and i'll also pray for you that we all all go to the kingdom of this earth thank you god bless you